Hey, hey, what's happening on Facebook? This is Eddie Harvey here, guys, from EddieOHarvey.com. Coming to you guys today, I want to talk about, um, okay, you're putting the work in in your business, right? But you're not having the success that you want to have. You, you're seeing so many other people around you are succeeding, and you feel like you're working, you're working, you're, you're putting in work on a daily basis, but it just seems like everyone else is having so much success, and you're not so What's the problem? Why is this happening? So let me show you something. Uh, if you're looking at this, obviously you know what this is, right? This is what? This is a, a potato. So I learned last night that a potato requires 75 to 135 days uh, from seed to harvest. That's the time period for a potato. That's the gestation period from when it starts as a seed and, it, and it's harvest and ready to eat. And so many people, we love potatoes. Uh, I think around the world people love potatoes and you know you got to understand it's a process and it's the same thing with your business. Hey Tierra, uh, it's, the, it's the same thing with your business guys, it's a process and there is a, a gestation period with success. Success is like you got to put it in an incubator and it's not something that's going to happen right away all the time. Okay, so there is, there is a, a period where you got to you gotta plant the seed and then you know you gotta you gotta nurture that seed before you can have a good harvest. And uh, it's the same thing as a potato as it as it relates to your business. So when you see all of the people around you succeeding, you you're, you're looking at you know some people can even be, be be considered overnight successes where they just pop into the scene. You've seen athletes, you've seen actors, you've seen people in any and every industry just came out of nowhere and look like they just blew it up and then boom, here they are. And when they talk to those people, and those people are interviewed, people say, it looked like you just came out of nowhere. And, they, and they'll just be like, you know, all of my hard work is finally paid off, right? I've been behind the scenes. I've been putting in work every single day, just putting in my deposits, just doing what I need to do in order to succeed. They've had a consistent work ethic. They've done the things every single day that nobody else has seen them do. And they've done it on a consistent basis in order to reap the harvest of the reward that they that they now have received. And there's no difference when building your business, right? So today, as of today, me, you, anybody else, everything we've done, everything we've accomplished that we're reaping the, the rewards for right now, uh, we put the work in for this 60, 90, pretty much 90 to 100 days ago. So it's now September. So if you look at everything you've done in May, uh, May, June, July, you're now reaping the rewards of that now. So if you really didn't do anything at that point in period, you're not going to see too many benefits from it right now. So everything that you're doing right now, as of September, what today is September 7th, I think it is, you're going to reap the rewards of that come December, January, and February. So it's almost like preparing yourself for, for, the, for the following year. It's no different if you're working now. It's no different if you're changing your diet. It's no different if you're building your business. Whatever you're doing, it's a it's a period before you gotta have success. You know, we get so stuck in microwave mentality. We're so impatient with everything that we do in life. You know, you get a lot of people, even if warming things up in the microwave, you probably take it out of the microwave sometimes before the microwave has even stopped. You know, because we're such in a rush to get things. Everything is now, 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 I want it now. But with success, it doesn't happen that way. It's all about putting yourself in a, in a in a period of where you have to you have to put in the work consistently on a daily basis. TG, what's going on, brother? Um, you know, so that's the thing I noticed. Like I said with a potato, man, that's 75 to 135 days. That is a, a long period of time, but it's well worth it because anything before that, you're not gonna get a good product. So when these potatoes harvest, that's the amount of time it takes before we're able to fry these potatoes, bake them, boil them, whatever we want to do to have a good harvest, that's what it takes. And that's the same thing with your business, guys. You got to understand is that you got to put your work in. Anybody around you that you, that you see succeeding, do not compare yourself to them. Uh, comparison is the thief of joy. You're looking at everyone else around you, seeing the success they've had, everything that they're accomplishing, but you haven't seen the journey that they've been on to get there. If you look on over the journey they've been on to get there, you'll look and see that they've been constantly working, putting in the work every single day, having a long-term vision of, of, of what they wanna accomplish. It just didn't start yesterday. It started 30 days ago, 60 days ago, 100 plus days ago. 
you know, so it's all about guys just putting yourself in position to, we're talking about right now in this moment, in this time and space, whatever it is that you want to accomplish in your life, be it in business, be it in your personal life, whatever it may be, you have to start working now. And not only working now, you got to consistently work now, even when you don't feel like it, even when you're tired. If you want to get some things done, you have to be consistent in your effort. You have to be consistent in your actions. Uh, any great athlete, any great actor, actress, you, you will hear them talk about the long nights they put in, the, the sleep they've lost, all of the things they've sacrificed to get to the pinnacle of their success. Hey Trish, what's going on? So uh, it's very important, it's very important that you understand that and you got to ask yourself, how long am I in this? Am I in this for the long haul? Am I in this for the, for the short term? What do I want to accomplish? So you got to have a game plan mapped out for yourself and say, what do you want to be 90 days from now? And that's why most people, when, when the new year hits, guys, most people are what? In the gym working out because they have this new year's resolution. And you've seen it. If you go to the gym consistently, you're going to have an influx of people between December to like March where the gym is just going to be over flooded with people. But around towards the middle of March, April, those people are going to start. You're gonna, there's going to be less and less of those folks in there because they're not in it for the long haul. They just want that, they've, they've got excited about the fact that they want to change their lives. They want to do something different and they're ready to progress and move forward, but they're not willing to make the sacrifice of putting that work in consistently. They'll do it for a week, uh, two weeks, three weeks, and then after that, it's like, man, I, that's it. You know, all right, I'll go tomorrow. All right, I, you know, I'll go, I'll, I'll get it in tomorrow. I'll go, I'll go Thursday. And then before you look at it, man, Whatever, I just do something at home. That's the way it goes for most people. And then now they're back into their rigmarole, their same pattern of not changing, of not being able to adapt and not being able to grow and better themselves for whatever it is they want to do. And then you look up, fast forward, it's getting toward the end of the year and you're repeating the same things all over again. So it's so much easier just to pick up where you left off versus restarting. And you can put yourself in a position where if you pick up where you left off, now you can just say, okay, I'm gonna go on this 90 day game plan. I'm gonna, for the next 30 days, I'm gonna do this. For the next 60 days, I'm gonna do this. And hold yourself accountable to it. Even if you had to get an accountability partner, whatever it may be, but make sure you hold yourself accountable to it and stretch yourself. Do things you haven't done before. Do things uh, of a different magnitude in order for you to get the results that you wanna get. Because as the saying goes, if you've been, if you keep doing the same things you've been doing, you're going to keep getting the same results you've been getting. So in order for you to grow, in order for you to change, in order for you to get better, you have to do things differently. And one of the things you can do, guys, is start out by understanding that today, wherever you're at and you want to accomplish something, looking at December, January, and that time frame, it all starts with what you're doing now. Not when that time comes, it all starts with what you're doing right now. Because it's all about being able to build up momentum. Momentum is the hardest thing to get. Once you get the momentum going, then pretty much it's all downhill from there. It's just like picturing a snowball in the, in a, in a, in the movies, whatever, anything, you're pushing something uphill. Once you're going uphill, you're struggling, you're pushing, it's hard to get it up. But once you hit that peak, once you hit that peak of that, that mountaintop, that hill or whatever, you've rolled all of this. If it's a snowball, as they, as they show, in, show in the movies, it starts out really small. Then you have this big, massive ball. And then from that point, you can just tip it with your finger and it'll go downhill and it's going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling and pretty much nothing's going to be able to stop it because it has momentum behind it. So, and that's the toughest part for people understand that you got to get momentum behind what you're doing, but it's all about your actions that you're taking uh, right now. So the success you see others having, they, they've already got momentum and now that's why success seems like it's just happening for them left and right. Bam, bam. Everything they want, they're getting it. They're succeeding. You look at any star, any industry, it's like they're all over everything. I, I, a perfect example is Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart has just changed the game for comedians, and this guy's all over everything, and he's remaining relevant because he's living in his momentum that he gained. You know, before Soul Plane, before other little movie roles he had, you know, you look at any of them, they were doing all those stand-ups, middle of the night, small towns here and there, doing what he had to do to succeed. And he positioned himself to once he, boom, got momentum, He's now taking advantage of that momentum and he's just staying in the middle of everything, remaining relevant and being the biggest com uh, comedic star out right now. But it's all about he didn't compare himself to others in the standpoint of why is 
those that came before him. Why is Martin Lawrence succeeding? Why is Jim Carrey succeeding? Why are all of these people having success? Why not me? He just kept putting his work in because he couldn't compare his journey to theirs. Okay, so that's the worst thing you can do, guys, is compare where you're at and what you're accomplishing in your job, in your business, in your life, wherever you're at compared to what the others have done because you haven't seen what they've done. All you got to know is that I would say commend them and look at them as a model of success and say, hey, I can get there too as long as I keep putting in my work. And that's what people like Kevin Hart and people across any industry have done. And that's what you have to do with your business or whatever it is that you so desire that you want to succeed in. You got to understand that that's the worst thing you can do. Just not compare yourself to anybody else and you got to put your work in. You got to put the, the work in on a daily basis. You can't do it today and then don't do it again until next week. It has to be a consistent daily action. And then 90 days, 60 to 90 days from now, 100 days from now, you will now reap the rewards of all the work that you've put in at this day uh, moving forward. So no way around it. That's just the way it goes. There's nothing you can do about it. That's, that's just the way it is. And if you want to be able to have the success that you want to have, if you want to be able to get the things that you kept, keep saying that you want to get and position yourself to, to better yourself, and whether it's a promotion, whether it's a raise, uh, whether it's to, to uh, hit a certain income level, whether it's to have a better body, whatever it is, you got to put the work in, man, on a daily basis. Success is not microwave. This slow roasted and cooked, this incubated, and this something that you got to pay the price in order to receive. There is no way around it. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you all uh, receive some value from this. And if so, hit me up with some likes, some shares, some hearts, even if you're watching the recording. And uh, if you want to hear more from you guys, once this recording is over, uh, once this uh, live is over, you can subscribe to my feeds right in the middle. All right. And so if you want to hear more from me, guys, you can head over to my blog at eddielharvey.com. Other than that, I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, go out and, and crush it. Whatever you want to do. I'm on a 90 day run here myself. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of me. And uh, there's some things I want to look at come December for myself personally that I need to accomplish in my life and my business. And uh, yeah, I'm just sharing some information on what it's going to take to get there. So you got to stretch myself and you got to do the same thing, guys. So uh, talk to you all later. Take care and have a great day.